What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and right now I am in Kentucky. If you watched my last vlog video, you'll know that myself, Tanya back here, and Catfish, who's walking down there, this is his boat and we're gonna do a little crappie fishing tournament with Blue Gabe and his friend Richard. So Blue Gabe's with Richard right now crappie fishing on a different body of water and we're gonna be fishing on Taylor's Lake. It's private owned, as you can see the sign here. And we're actually fishing on Catfish's homemade boat that he built with his father. So that's really cool. And today we're doing something really, really interesting. I've never heard of it before. It's called live scope. So we're gonna be able to see the fish and hook up into them. This is the longest boat ramp I've ever seen. <laughs> it goes downhill and then turns. You're doing good, catfish. You're doing good. So you see this fancy technology stuff right here? This is how we're gonna be fishing. Yeah. I'm super excited for Catfish to show us what's going on here. So Richard and Blue Gabe, they're kind of doing old school. They're looking at landmarks and structure and they're gonna try certain areas. Us, we're gonna find the fish and then go fishing. Got Captain Tanya over here. <laughs> Thank you so catch much. Some Let's go catch some fish. That's right. We're gonna find them and then we're gonna catch them. So before we get the live scope set up, right now Catfish is just cruising along the bank of the lake here. And we're using this side scanning to see any type of structure and fish on the structure. A lot of people back home in the inlets use this side scanning. Like in the inlets of fish for snook, you'll see all the snook like lined up on the side. It's really cool. So catfish is kind of going over the basics with me and it's pretty cool. It's, it's kind of like reading Egyptian in my eyes because I don't ever look at charts and sonar or anything, but check this out. So right here, it's kind of hard to see because the glare, but this is your 360 view. And every, in between each of these lines is 18 feet and this is 75 feet out from your boat and boats in the center so it's kind of like an old school weather radar then you look up here sorry the glare is really bad but it's about eight feet 8.8 .8 feet deep and then it shows you 35 feet out from your boat so let's see if a fish comes by Come on, fishies, where are you? Here's one right here. Okay, all right. Oh, he just moved, he come from Oh, he moved. Let's see if I can find him again. So when you see these little dots moving around, it's most likely fish. Yeah, it's definitely fish. Definitely fish? Yes. Definitely fish. Definitely fish. <laughs> oh wait, here some, we go. Yeah, right here's a big one. I don't, hopefully uh, you guys can see that. See the little pieces moving? That's our fish. Could you possibly see, like, when you drop your bait down or your yes. jig, you can see it come up? Yes, we can. We can cast to them, see our jig enter the water, and it come all the way back. And when I get close to a fish, even if he comes up and strikes it and he misses it or short strikes it, I can slow my bait down, and that fish will turn around and come back and grab it again. I know that I can cast past the fish, and then when I get in the strike zone of where the fish actually is that that i can slow that bait down or, or or see how it reacts to it whether i need to speed it up or slow it down to cause that reaction in that bite oh so i'm seeing it everything live aka live scope you're actually seeing everything live in the water as you're fishing it's it's just like a camera in the water so <laughs> the technology so cool. and things that's coming on now it's uh, it's a game changer awesome so you'll be able to see the fish slow down speed up turn around or anything that's incredible it's almost having like a gopro underwater so right now I'm filming on my iPhone because the iPhone picks up the screen a lot better than the GoPro does, just with the sun glare on the screen. These are fish right here, Kelly. See all those fish underneath that limb? Okay, yeah. Would you say they're like facing towards us or can you tell? Uh, they're pretty I say thin. they're probably facing towards us or in, in the, because they're so narrow. When they mm -hmm. turn sideways, it'll be more of what, what people describe as a dime or something. You gonna try to catch one of them fish? Yeah, we're gonna catch. We're gonna catch. See, look at this fish here. It's it's sitting here right on the edge. I see it. Oh moving. yeah. And there's 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 all kinds of fish in here. All right, let's see if you can't catch one of these. All right. Yeah, it's staying up now. You can kind of see the 
log here in front of us. We've got the Hummingbird 360 running. Mm -hmm. And then that helps me locate my my fish on the live scope. There's some bait coming in right here, actually. You can see these smaller stuff. But you see, look at these three swimming, swimming up into here. Oh, keep yeah. Up with them. Yeah. Yeah. Dang, this is some high-tech stuff right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Nice fish. Nice crappie. Nice crappie. All right. <laughs> we got a turn. Wait, where's the net? There. Get the net. Woo! Look at that bad boy. As G3 would say, this is a pro mag. Pro mag. Yeah. And that right there, that's the fish we're going for. A big old crappie. Big white crappie. Something y'all don't have in Okeechobee. All, your, all yours are black crappie. Oh, those you are different types? See the difference? See the bands? The bands okay. that, that tells a white crappie and a black a black and we'll catch some black too but yeah. there'll be there'll be specks there'll be they won't have the bands on them oh. and that's a white crappie versus a black crappie i didn't even know that yeah you learn something new every day all right tanya and myself are up right now we're using these little road runner he likes to call them jigs we're gonna see what they can do oh there's that one i think yeah, it, it comes through. You're, oh, fish bit it. Right. I felt it. Something it? hit it. Yeah. Oh, that was a limb. Oh, there comes one out on one of y'all. Oh. There it is. There is <laughs> that a girl. Bring him in the boat. There we go. <laughs> Kelly's on the board. Yes, Kelly is on the board. First crappie here in Kentucky. So he's a nice sized crappie. However, he's not as big as we're hoping. We're looking for for the tournament. So I'm gonna go ahead and release this one. All right, little crappie. Go bring us back your bigger brothers and sisters. Goodbye. Really? Say that See, again. He almost see his tail. Watch this. See him relating to that. Oh yeah, right there. Oh, he's swimming away, I think. Yeah. Oh wait, there he is. He's coming back. He's swimming towards us. He just swam down. Yeah, he's chasing. Here comes one. Here comes a bluegill or something off the bottom. That's you. See it right, right there? Right there. Oh, he stayed with that stick, though. He didn't follow it up. Let me find that stink again. Right there. It's about six feet. You see it about six feet, Kelly, on the top? Oh, yeah. I can see this jig coming in here. Yeah, I'm falling right here. You see me? Oh, yeah. Now I'll fluff it up a little bit. Bring it right back on that. See that big fish down there at the bottom of that? Mm hmm Hole right there. So this right here is his jig. You see the line? Oh, he oh, bit oh. it. He got a nibble. Come on, buddy. He's chasing it. There. Oh. Oh, just did, Kelly. No. Now nah, we'll catch one right here. It'll you weren't supposed to miss him. I know it. You got me. <laughs> Put me on point there. You're on camera Tanya now. Come up. Oh, here he comes, Tanya. He he's oh. going after it. He went back down. Oh, there it is. Coming up. Oh, he liked that. Oh, Ooh, he's right in the middle. Oh, 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 see it coming up? Yeah. There oh, he is. Oh, it, it was, this wasn't the big one we were looking at, though. No. That was one of the smaller ones that nice. swam into frame. I have another baby. <laughs> another little another one. Baby. There should be a prize for the smallest but fish, too. smallest fish, yes. <laughs> yeah, we'll make up our own. We'll make up our own category. Right. We'll come back and catch him later. That's right. Give him some time to grow a little. Let them go, let them grow. That's exactly right. Are those two nice fish right there? Yes, absolutely. Ooh. Yeah, see them. Look, I'm swimming. The Actually, they're here in the trolling motor, so they're going down. Ooh. So, these trolling motors, one time I was spearfishing up in the mangroves and Blue Gabe was on the boat, and this trolling motor is so loud underwater, it's insane. So, I think that's what is happening is the fish are hearing the vibrations of the trolling motor and they're swimming down to the bottom. Oh, look at that one. There's another one on the bottom. See that? That was a good one. That was a big one. So right here on this lake we're fishing on, sorry guys, the wind just picked up. Hopefully it's not too bad for the GoPro right now. Catfish just hooked into this crappie right here. And here there's no size limit. However, it is 20 fish a person. We're not gonna catch that many. We don't need that many. We're just gonna get a few nice size ones for the tournament. Blue Gabe just texted me. 
he said, y'all better be catching them is all I'm gonna say. This is crazy. I don't know if he's bluffing or not. He's bluffing. I think he's bluffing too. Oh, brother. Maybe brother. I am the <laughs> king of the little crappie. King of the little crappie today. <laughs> Had a huge one sitting there and couldn't get out of the little one's mouth. The little Super ones good. are feisty. A little more energetic than the big ones are. Oh, there. yeah. There's a bunch of fish just hanging out right in them branches right there. You can see them moving around. Right there. Here comes one up after. Oh, that's a little oh, better. That's, there he goes. That's a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. A little better one. Yeah. That might qualify us for the tournament. It won't hurt us with shape <laughs> we're in right now. I might throw some lead in him. There we go. That's what I was thinking. Throw a couple lead weights yeah. in their gut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are ending our little fishing day here. We got some nice crappie in the cooler. Let me show you guys. Got some smaller ones, got that nice fat one right there that I think catfish pulled up. It wasn't an amazing fishing day, it was a little chilly out here on the water. A lot of boats out here that we saw, they didn't do too well either, but we do have some fish in the box. We have no idea how Blue Gabe and Richard did, haven't heard from them all day, but right now catfish is backed in the trailer. We're going to pull the boat out and head back to the lodge, but let me tell you, this live scope is pretty much like a video game. You can see the fish moving around. You see your jig go down. You see the fish chase your jig. It's incredible. It's super cool and something I've never done before. Right now, we're heading up. It's a little chilly out here and we're gonna go back to the lodge and compare our fish and see who won the tournament. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back at camp, and Blue Gabe is making fun of us right now. You guys, we, we were trying to make a how to crappie video. Look at this. <laughs> Cecil, y'all, have you introduced Cecil yet? Nope, not yet. This is Cecil. Hello, hello. Cecil, did we catch anything that looked like this? Uh, no. Here, you, you, you want it? It's not even big enough for you. Hey, Gussie. Gus, you're acting bad right now. Listen, Gus. listen, listen, listen. Apparently, Blue Gabe said. didn't yeah. film anything. So, Gus. so now there's not even a competition. Yeah, now we just won. Yeah. But, I, but I have something for you. Oh, they're hiding right one. They're hiding a big one in the boat. I already know. What, what happened is when it? you took a nap the other day? <laughs> you shot a turkey. What happened when I went fishing today? You caught fish. You got a Mogan? Yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, look. Hold on. Though, hold up. This is a crappie tournament, not a bass tournament. Babe. Babe. Nope. Babe. Disqualified. No, not even close. Yep. Hold on, though. I got something in here that will be qualified. A big old crappie. Yeah, hold on. Hey, Come ready? here. Hi, you little gooch. Look at that giant. Oh, that's one of those, wait, muskies? Muskies? What are? What is that? Look at the teeth, though. Show them the teeth. Look at the dog. Hello. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cool. All right, now we can get serious. Now the crappie. I mean, just slab. Oh, that's a nice black one. After slab. After. You know what? Oh, oh the dog is crazy. This is Diesel, one. Your dog is very unmannered. This is one happy dog. Get him, get him Gussie. Don't you let up now. We're gonna go ahead and turn the big old bass loose. Get, oh no, no, no. Get, get. that dog. Let's run. Let's run to the dock. Come on. Stay, stay. That dog ain't going nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> run with the bass. I think this dog likes fishing. All right, hold on. Hey, back. This fish, we caught so many fish on spinner baits. It was insane. I hope she'll live. 
Got a reviver. She'll be all right. These boys up here in Kentucky love to eat fish and they take such good care of their lakes. Like anywhere that has good management, they take a certain amount of bass and crappie out of them because there's a such thing as overpopulating the lake. There we go. Go ahead, big girl. Go ahead, baby girl. What are you doing? What do you got? You're gonna hurt yourself. What are you doing? Oh, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Ready? You ready? You want the stick? Oh, hold on, ready? Go. Oh. Yeah, knock someone out with that thing. More fish. Why? They're big. <laughs> now, now film that bait well. All right, all right. Oh man! Y'all thought we were playing. Well, catfish. Here, we might be some sore losers today. <laughs> all right. Hey, I, I won because I got to hang out with two beautiful girls all day, and they got uh -huh. to sit here and look at each other all day. So. <laughs> you guys, I agree. So it's all good. <laughs> Show them the brand of that boat. What brand of boat is that? Triton. That's a Triton? No, no a Grizzly. I'm sorry. Grizzly. Oh. Grizzly. Let me make something clear to you guys. Same. Let me make something very clear to y'all. That boat, we hit trees that big around, sticking out of the water about this high. The whole boat went on his side. He's back there laughing. No, oh, this ain't nothing. Whoa. <laughs> That's how them Kentucky boys do it. And it's not even dented. I'm looking at it. Oh, this thing is tough. <laughs> we all had artificial baits. Y'all already Ooh. know we did work today. Yeah, you When did. Blue Gate doesn't film, there's a reason for it. We were doing work. That is true. I was so worried about cameras and like filming the screen, filming me, setting camera up here, setting camera up here. Woo! I just showered. I do not want to get fish guts all over me or slime. It does. It takes a lot out of fishing when you're filming. <laughs> Jesus. Is that bass? Bass and crappie. Oh my gosh. All right. I don't want to get splashed with slime. Look, babe, this is going to be all crappie pretty much. Hold on. Let me get up on this step here. No, we got two buckets. <laughs> all right. I think it's safe to say all one. Even though he didn't film a video, I. He said he was hey. going to, but Blue Gabe got way too serious in the game and just started hardcore fishing, as you guys can see. Hey, oh. y'all know what second place is? That's the first loser. It's all right, I got you. I got you. No, I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about why I got serious. Mm. But literally, but literally, everywhere we go, we both make sort of the same videos. We just try to give them our own twist. I wanted Kelly to have her own... She's filmed a vlog video here. I don't even think I'm going to make a video, but I do have a bunch of cool footage that I'll tie together on another day. But Kelly always helps me film. She always, always puts me first. This trip, we're putting her first. Even though I killed the first turkey, she killed the biggest. I mean, do you have a crane or something? Something to lift? Oh. I think you just need to hit the gym. That's like 25 pounds of fish. Well... I did make him carry my turkey all the way back to the truck and that joker was 22.5 pounds. So one thing I've never seen before is cleaning with an electric knife. Check this out. Electric knife action. This knife here is a... <laughs> I haven't used this knife. It's coming... No, it's like so sharp it's going to go through the backbone or something. No, the blades aren't right. The blades aren't right. Get out of there. That's so interesting. I have heard people when they catch crappie, they usually catch a lot of crappie. So an electric knife is just the easiest, fastest way to do it.
Is this all my crappie I caught? You guys, y'all rarely see me as tired as I am right now. Yeah. I'm running low. I am on E. We're fixing it. <laughs> We're running low on it. <laughs> We're fixing to fry some fish, eat some yams. Yes. This is Mason. He's a big fan of the channel. He's from down the road. and He actually, this how small of a world it is, he didn't know that Richard and Catfish was friends with us and he was watching us on YouTube and he's like, there's Richard. That's awesome. So we had him over tonight to eat dinner with us. Some good old crappie. What is that? What is this? I don't know. This Season all. Season all. Original. Seems seems pretty accurate. Seems pretty accurate. And we got some yams, some cinnamon. Babe, I got a. I really wanted. I really want this footage for myself, but I think because you're such a good girlfriend, I can give you the rattlesnake footage. Why don't you tell them about the rattlesnake? No, you have to use no, the rattlesnake. No, you can use it. No, you have to use the rattlesnake. You'll you'll find a place to use that footage. All right, I'll use it. No, I I'm, got catfish really good for the rattlesnake. He almost right. died. It's all I'm gonna tell you. Right. What you doing over here, catfish? Trying to crappie. Trying to keep my trying to keep my temperature less than. That's about right. Time you're loading fish in, and I went above 400. It uh, was called a grease, so what? try to get around 375, 380. When I load the fish in, I really don't want to get much lower than 350. So I've never seen someone use a thermometer to fry food. That's really cool. Yeah, I just I'm just monitoring the grease. It makes sense. Yeah. Right. What? You would have never thought rednecks could get so high tech, could? <laughs> it is very high tech like chef status right there. All right, you guys, we're about to end this video. We're about to enjoy this delicious food that Blue Gabe made and catfish. But can y'all smell it? it? Smells so good. What is this? Cream of corn. Cream of corn. This is a southern thing. The same people that shoot out the window of their truck knows what cream of corn is. <laughs> we got some yams, cream of corn, our fried crappie. We got some beans from last night. Or did you make those today? These are a new batch. This is a new batch, all right. Well, we we're gotta give a big shout out too to Richard and his wife Shay for having us in such a beautiful place. Oh yes. Where are you Shay? Hello. They've been letting us stay at this amazing, gorgeous cabin here while we've been hunting here in Kentucky. But we're all gonna sit down, eat. I'll see y'all in the next one.